This show contains views and opinions that may not be suitable for certain audiences. Listener discretion is strongly advised. A friendly reminder, Mary Jane edibles are not a substitute for actually paying your Lyft driver. Don't forget to tip your bartenders, you filthy fucking animals. And if you've got kinks, we've got links. Don't forget to subscribe, put on your seatbelt, and enjoy the ride. Howdy, 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 everybody, and welcome to Thespian Talk. I am your host, Gomer the Ranting Thespian. With me this week, we have Rosenthor. You're not Fall Guys. No, I'm not Fall Guys. Uh, but it is a fun game. Why are you not Fall Guys? Because I, I am I am not a cute little rubbery thing. And with mm. us also is Michelle. I'm not a Fall Woman either. Yeah. And with us this week, as you can tell by the title, we do have a special guest person sitting in this week. We have Mel Paradise. Uh, hello, I want to say, uh, fuck the police and wear a mask. Yeah. Yep. That, that, is, that is the tone of, the, of these past few shows, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the police, wear your damn masks, and don't come to Florida. Do not come to Florida for Labor Day weekend. We, we, we have a new story about that later. But, um, uh, so, uh, yeah. What happened last week? Uh, last week, I got set up to do the show and everything, got like news stories and everything, and then my body is like, no. Not only am I going to give you an ear infection that's going to be really, really painful, we're going to give you a case of nausea. Oh. So both hit it about the same time, and I'd want to say it had the, the ear pain and ear discomfort caused the nausea. That, that That's my running theory. So mm. I can do it. We tried to... I tried to push it back to the next day. Still couldn't do it then, so I had to go to the doctor. The good news is, you know, it was just an ear infection. And the bad news is, she said my eardrum was, and I quote, busted. Ugh. Yeah. Oof. So, as as uh, I mentioned it in our green room when it, when it all went down, and Lacey was wondering if eardrums grow back, and it's like, if, if I leave it alone enough, it should be okay over time. Um... The catch is actually leaving it alone because, god damn, does it itch? <laughs> um, but you know, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm getting better about it. I'm getting better at it. Uh, um, so the doctor visit was 25, which eh, I'd rather it be less, but you know, 25, I can swing it. And she also put me on some antibiotics for the ear infection, which she's like, I, I asked her, okay, what's what's going to be the cheapest option? She said Walmart. And she said that Walmart usually is like between 20 and 30. I go to Walmart, I go to pick up my prescription, and turns out the prescription is somewhere upwards of 60. Jeez, that's like ridiculous. That is. is so fuck you, Walmart. Uh, yeah. It, it, it did lead fuck to Big Pharma uh, in uh, general. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It did lead to a fun thread in uh, Rosen's um, forum, which I've just pulled up. Becky, that's $3 a pill. Phoenix, myself. Size quietly in British. Tifa, size loudly in Mexican. Um, Ethan, Ontario Roku. Ontario Q. Yeah. Uh, yell, yells, sigh in Canadian. Of course, yeah. people don't want socialised healthcare because then you'd be a bunch of commies. So, yeah, basically, we also have an Australian who I assume also has socialised healthcare, but it was out of her time zone for the thread. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. So, how about we stop creating imaginary word borders for like the human condition? Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that can work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm just glad I was able to swing it, because oh lordy. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, cause well, I'm glad you're feeling better, because that sounds like a really like shit situation. <laughs> it was like I even tried. I even tried. Uh, so so uh, I'm I'm trying to do more of the perler beads because there is a local flea market near here that Ooh. that I could try and do stuff at. I think I've told you about it before, Mel. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, I was gonna ask. Do you want me to send you those caps? I'm not gonna use them. I I hate them. Um, <laughs> yes. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, the sure. little, little one-sided caps. I'll send you a whole box of them. I bought one of each tray and I made like a Pikachu and I was like, fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> 
Because you have to lay them on the board one way, or you have to lay them between the pegs, which I guess I could do designs that are like off-centered or whatever, but like if I'm going to do that, I may as well just use fucking pony beads anyways. Pardon my language, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I've got three whole boxes of these caps that I'll send to you. So yeah, the perler caps, I, I do not recommend them, but you can have them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give them a shot. Yeah. So yeah. What, what's the difference between these caps and regular polar beads then? Uh, the, uh, the caps, they're, they're closed on one end, and so they're like flat, and so you can either lay uh, them down flat side down, or like I actually wanted to just like compare them to the regular beads, so I put them the open side down on the pegboard, and uh, I just don't like the way it looks. Like, I like the look of the perler beads that has all the holes in it, because, you know, like, yeah. the way they're ironed, if they're ironed nice, is kind of a testament to the skill that it takes to, like, you know, iron them out, and so it's like, preserves the medium, or displays it in a way that's enjoyable. Whereas these, it's just like you got a flat, like it just looks like they're over melted, you know, or it just looks yeah. bland. It makes it look flatter. I don't like it. Yeah, I, 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 I still gotta work a little bit more on my ironing game. Um, but before, yeah, but uh, I tried to do, I tried to bite off a little bit more than I could chew going back into it because I looked at some, I think it was uh, SK versus Capcom or, or one of those two for Oh, the, yeah, weren't you doing a Morrigan Sprite, you were saying? Yeah. So I tried it. I got it all put together. That was fine. It was looking great. Um, despite the fact I couldn't find my tweezers at the time, I have since found them. Um, <laughs> then I went to do my usual. My usual thing is I'd put the, I put the I would iron it right on the pegboard. Which, yeah, I know they don't recommend it, but I, you know, I was only going by what I knew and was thinking of at the time. It's and, art. Do it however you feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you also end up with warped boards too. Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, so I did that, and I thought I had you know everything checked out on that end, you know. So I went to go flip it over, and beads start falling, and oh, no. it's kept falling. Hey, like, that. Yeah, I mean it's not enough. I was like, most of it is was done up well enough, but the rest of it is just. Ugh. So I was like, okay, I need to set this aside before I go tossing it all over the room. That's not good. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, Dude, I've lost so many big... I've lost three large pieces, I think, that I can remember. Um, to either, like, somebody sitting on a bed where I had, like, placed an unironed piece. Or, like, uh, one time I was working on this giant VV Sprite. And this asshole turned on a fan as I was ironing it, and it lifted up the paper, and it took more hours oh no. to repair oh the no. piece than it did to fucking make the piece. I cried through, like, the first half of it, but hey, it was good practice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. So I, I eventually, in one, of, in one of my trips, having to go out to get supplies, I got some masking tape, because I was like, okay, there's got to be ways to do it. Because I initially was looking up um, ways to unwarp your your uh 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 what the hell i had the name for it pegboards there you go the boards i'll send you some more pegboards too i have like so many that i i'm not using <laughs> you have a big one <laughs> uh well yeah i have the big one that I, that's the one that i mostly use but i've also got like a oh. whole box full of the regular size boards too so i can send okay. you like a whole mess of them sure yeah i, I, I will t i will take yeah, your yeah. stuff that's less i have to worry yeah, yeah. about um yeah 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 although this rate i'll probably you have the just ones that clip together yeah. Sorry. <laughs> least, least yeah, yeah, they're the ones that, that you can put together, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, the standard perler boards. Yeah. So, uh... I mean, I got some of the knockoff Chinese ones if you want those, too. <laughs> I'll, I'll give them a shot. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll send you... I'll, I'll put together a package for you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so... All right! So, any, so anyway, right. I went to, uh... I, I went and got some masking tape, like I said. Because uh, it was one of those recommended things that that, that you to kind of practice with or whatever, especially when it comes to like flipping the thing over or what have you, and mm -hmm. worked out a lot better for me. You know, I got the tape on there, flipped it over. I tried it with a small one. I made a Giorno, and you know, some and somewhere piano is intensifying. Um, and I flipped it over. It is a little warped, but I think it had to do with just you know the iron game. It has had nothing to do with anything else, but it mm -hmm. turned out all right. So, so I think I might, I might yeah, stick with yeah, that. Yeah, all the JoJo's you sent me last season all sold out. So, you know, good on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah for, those, for those who don't know, uh, I, I made like some uh, 
Mega Man style uh, JoJo faces. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I think I've made uh, one for. I know I've got designs for all of the main JoJos, from Jonathan all the way up to Gappy. Uh, and I think I've also got one for Poochie, who is the villain of Part Six, and oh, I think also one for uh, older Joseph from Part Three. Those are the ones I can think of right off the top of my head. Um, not to make per, not to make them into actual physical beats. That's a whole different story. I actually will. I actually need to look through it and see what I want to work on. I think I think I might keep a JoJo line going. Also concentrate on some other things, but um, but yeah. So that's been enough about me. Um, oh lordy. Uh, so so y'all were supposed to be here two weeks ago. So uh, Michelle, how how has your past couple of weeks been? I'm pretty good. I've <clears throat> I know Rosen can empathise with me on this one. I've got a Ring Fit adventure and I've been playing it a lot. And my legs don't like you very much at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I was like, okay, I did a lot of squatting the day before, so the next one I'll, I'll try and do a bit more arm work, a bit more core work, and then I got to this like the run, like you, you run to each part where there's a fight, and there was like jump platforms, and then swings where you have to uh, use squats to um, to make the swings go around so you can jump off them. So that was fun. I mean, it was actually <laughs> quite fun. I will say, um, I've tried a few of the Nintendo Fitness games. I've got the, um, the boat, like all the different versions of the uh, Wii Sports and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And although I have enjoyed those other games, um, like for the mini games and the, the things you do and a little bit of the competitive money because you don't score, I, I am engaging with the, the Adventure War because it is adventure. It actually has a storyline that keeps you wanting to come back and like see what's happening. So um, yeah. yeah, well done Nintendo, you, you, finally, got, you finally cracked it. Um, but yeah, 15 days in a row on the adventuring, and then I did a Sunday fun day where I was checking out the mini games. Hmm. And then on top of that, I'm on day 52 of my Spanish on Duolingo. Nice. <coughs> yeah, so I've been working five hours in the morning <coughs> in a town like four stops away from me, which means I have to get up at five in the morning oh, to get on the train. Yeah, it's about 20 minutes on the train, plus another 15, 20 minutes to walk to where the warehouse is. But I get there, even if I go sort of a slow walk, I get there in plenty of times. So I'm never late. Yeah. The work itself is pretty chill. It's like uh, working at how many's packing. And mm-hmm. then, yeah, we do a five-hour shift because the, obviously the, that's how the... Normally it would be eight-hour shifts, but because of COVID and everything, they split the shifts up. Yeah. Um, and then come home, mong out for a bit, do, do some exercising, do some Spanish, make dinner, chill out again. Yep. That's about right. <laughs> yep. Uh, how about you, Rosie? It's all right. Just all right? <laughs> Sorry, Casey. Ca- oh. Casey forgot that we were uh, recording. <laughs> oh, oh, hi, Casey. Oh. <laughs> hi, Casey. How, how's her uh, foot? She, uh, she's doing okay. How is Kate? Yeah, she good. She good. We're going to have to do yeah. the shots in another day. That's fine, yeah. Yes, but you're paying. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Okay. That's our Casey. Yes. yes. <laughs> she is poking me with her cane. Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> Stop that! God damn it! Uh, all right, I, 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 Casey, Casey, we need the we need Rosen for the show. Hi. We can't can't keep him. Poking. She can't hear you. <laughs> oh. It's even better. Yes. <laughs> oh. Bye. All right. Hi, little stranger. Hello, Casey. Hey. Casey we we have Mel on this week. Mel, it's Casey. <laughs> that is Rosie. She left the room. She can't oh. hear you. Well then. That's all right. Hello. <laughs> she could, it, oh, I had, you had, know, my um, I was gonna say my mask shop. Uh, I make kids size masks. If you want me to send you a couple, DM that, me. That's that's, that's, it my fia- that's my that's my that's my fiance. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's I fine. It sounded like a. Sp- oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> back away from the conversation, Mel. Back away from the conversation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. I'm gonna go set me up another dab real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean. No, Casey does have a small voice. She, she's funny. Yeah. Yes. I, 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 have I, I use that voice for bunny spooks on, on the YouTube. She's got like this little anime voice. She talks like this all the time. Yes, <laughs> yeah. and it's adorable. 
I, ha I have a cousin that has a very high pitched, um, slightly squeaky voice as well. It's it's um, we we love her, but sometimes you don't want to be talking to her for too long. No offense uh. to at least my or Casey, but yeah, sometimes the voice can be a little bit too squeaky. Yeah, I'm sure they're lovely. <laughs> yeah. Oh lordy, so. Uh, so yeah, besides besides uh, Casey, how, how how what have what have you been up to the past couple of weeks, Rosa? Uh, phrasing. <laughs> yeah, I was just say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, not that because she's been injured. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, she broke. Her, she sp <laughs> she sprained her foot. God damn it. Oh. She did. Yeah. She 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 literally did. She 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 actually did. She was walking up the stairs and took a wrong step and sprained her foot. Yeah. Oh, which, sorry. Which happens. But it sucks. So I've I've been taking care of her just because yeah. she can't really do stuff yeah, like, right now. Like like like, like you should. Oh, I'm sorry, oh. Rose. Why couldn't we this? Yep. I <laughs> know. Uh, Fall guys is mainly what I've been doing. Yeah. I get it. Uh, I tried it for the first time last night on stream. Last night being Monday night, if you're listening to this, the day it actually comes out. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah, Rosen, Rosen and I played it together, and, and it was a lot of fun. Yep. Almost you know, I just, once. <laughs> yes. Speaking of games, I realize after you know the, what, we've been, what we've been doing, we have a t potential topic. Yeah. Oh, lordy, but uh, speaking, speaking of which, there are, there are a couple things before we get into the second part of our news and everything. Um, yep. First of all, first of all, Mel, you've never been on the show before, and we've, nope. we've gotten bits and pieces of what you're about throughout this conversation. But uh, for those who may not know who you are, even though, granted, most of the people who listen to this that I know of are friends of mine, and I talk you up a lot. But oh, I know. Thank you. You're like my biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. <coughs> So uh, why don't you tell people who, who may not have heard of you before or or just, you know, if this is their first show or what have you, uh, what, you're all, what you're all about in your own uh, words, from your, uh, own, from your own face. Uh, in my own words, in what uh, it's hard to say because I do so much. Uh, yeah, my name's uh, Mal Paradise. I'm a full-time artist. I work in several different mediums. I do predominantly pearl or pixel art. Uh, I'm a seamstress of 20 years. Uh, I'm an award-winning costume designer. I've uh, been in magazines, we've been working conventions for the last like seven years or so, so we're constantly doing events up until quarantine hit and all of our shit got cancelled, but I'm still regularly a vendor down at the Portland Saturday Market where I've now been sewing masks like crazy. My last few weeks have just been sewing masks and like paying attention to the stuff that's happening downtown in Portland and sharing information with neighbors and stuff and it's been pardon me it's been super stressful but you know and then I do side projects here and there I occasionally make music and I do a lot of shit posting and just joking around and trying to keep a positive attitude and in my private life I'm a little bit into uh, weird stuff spooky stuff occult stuff uh, I like history and anthropology and writing uh, science is pretty cool <laughs> when I'm work you know, when I'm working on my art stuff, I'm also like constantly listening to like ebooks and lectures and just filling my brain with uh, information. So I'm just a curious little bean and a weirdo artist that lives in Portland yeah. and stuff. <laughs> uh, I you you saying I, I I seem to have found some breaking news. Uh-oh. Oh yeah. What is hmm. it, what is this breaking news? From Oculus Oculus. They just announced uh, that apparently, starting in October, everyone using an Oculus device will now need to, to sync their Facebook account. What the hell? Uh, Ew. Because like, they're owned by Facebook. Now? Oh. Yeah. Gross. Like, literally all the comments are, well, I'm not buying this now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I've thought about getting some kind of VR thing, but... Eh, I'd not, go not with... At least. I, if I could, I would go with the Steam one, but I... I, I wear glasses and I and I can't handle VR. Yeah, that that's fair. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I know. 
sorry. No, you go ahead. I officially don't have a. I don't officially don't have a Facebook account, but I do have had games where it syncs with Facebook, so you, you get your saves back, and a couple of times that's a that's been a lifesaver where I've lost my save or like I've logged out or whatever. Mm-hmm. So when it gives you the choice, I can see the benefit. Yeah. This doesn't sound like it's giving you a choice. No, because again, they're owned by Facebook, so yeah. they're, they're doing that. Yeah, that, that's skeezy. Yeah. Choice is fine. Sorry. Force, no. <laughs> yeah. uh. I've, got, I've got some news. I just got an email from a Sticker Mule. I, that's who I got my little acrylic bunny spooks charms from. And yeah. they're having a sale Ooh. on pins right now. You can get 10 pins for $9. They're usually like 20 bucks. Ooh, nice. And that goes wow. through Friday. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, that goes through Friday, so get that if you got custom art you want as acrylic pins, you should check that out. Yeah. I might need to do that. There you go. Yeah. We need we need to make sure to send this over to Becky. <laughs> Cause uh, I, I did, got leaked. There, also, there is art of hers that I, I do want to wear, but she she hasn't made wearable art or if she has I haven't been able or will I haven't been able to get any, so <laughs> for one reason or another. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I was pulling up... I sent up. you... Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I was going to say, I sent you a wearable piece of art. Yes, you did. That's the bunny... Well, for one, the bunny spooks charm. Oh, no, I guess two, because, yeah. yeah, I well, bunny spooks... I didn't make the bunny spooks art, though. I bought that art, so okay. the, the art that I gave you is the mask that I made. Yeah, that one is, yes. Oh, and, and, and I wore that mask out just today. I went, you know, it's a recording day, so I go out and usually just grab something quick and there you go. I wear a mask. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, that's like uh, the only textile that I've printed to date, so it's like super yeah. rare. <laughs> I, was, I was just going to ask for linkage because I know some who might be interested. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll 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 make sure that gets put in the doobly doo. Um, though it is kind of a timed thing, so hopefully hopefully <clears throat> people see it like on the date first day or two it goes out. <laughs> yeah, that was well, sticker been, meal. Yeah. Sticker mule, right? Yeah, sticker mule. Uh, but yeah. So, um, speaking of other things that that don't necessarily warrant a full news story, but I wanted to bring up and mention anyway. Uh, there was one from last week that I really wanted to talk about, but everything went down in my own body, and it's like, Ugh. so. Um, so I want to talk about WAP, WAP. <laughs> For those that yeah, don't know, what, what even is this? I just posted up the the shitty flute version of it. That <laughs> shit was so funny. Uh, for those who don't know, WAP is short for wet ass pussy, and oh, it's that wet ass pussy. Yep, and it's a song <laughs> put out by Cardi B and Megan Three Stallion. And I listen to it, and it's all right. It's a Go- Gomer, Gomer. Yeah? It's Megan the Stallion, not Three Stallion. Megan V Stallion. Tree Stallion. Oh. I, you know, it's, <laughs> you know, the word is literally right there in front of my face, and I still yes. just read it. T H E E, the. Yeah. Like, hey, Gomer. My, hey, Gomer. Yes. Hey, Gomer. Yeah. There's some hoes in this house. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, 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 sh- that tells you how fast my brain works, or maybe not so fast, because literally it is the in my copy, but not. In my brain, for some reason. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, but w- would would Megan the Stallion as uh, a Cerberus be Megan Three Stallion? There you go. Oh, that somebody needs to make fan art of that. <laughs> <laughs> just just draw her as the Cerberus from Helltaker. There you go. Oh, but it's uh, like it's a Cerberus, but it's like the heads of the, the each of the ladies in that video. It's like a oh, three-headed yeah. monster dog thing. There you That'd go. Be pretty cool. Uh, so <laughs> like a fusion. Yeah. So anyway, Fluffy, the, what did they do to you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, so the song itself, like I said, it, it, it's a bop. It's all right. You know, I, I enjoy it. Some people, not so much, because oh my god, women <laughs> making a song being that forward with their sexuality. I mean, you oh my know, god, pussy. Yeah, I know, right? People like pussy. pussy. Yeah. What ass pussy? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh! Hey, did you guys see the music video though? It's like got this Willy Wonka theme to it, but oh, it's yes. like just everything's saw- water. <laughs> yeah, so I, I saw oh, clips. It, it, it's vision. It's visually stunning. It looks great. It, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's gorgeous. So, so of course, whenever a woman and and usually 
normally it doesn't really matter the color of the woman or the race of the woman but especially in this case put out something that's this sexually charged you know even though men have been putting out sexually charged shit for literal ever um, you know people are going to be all up in arms about it one such person happens to be Mar happens to be Mara Wilson's cousin for those who don't know that's Ben Shapiro I'm sorry, uh, Mara. I'm sorry you're related to That's you. the guy with, like, the really nasally voice, right? Yes, the Muppet yeah, Man. That's yeah. A... <laughs> Don't insult Muppets. No, yeah. Known Aquaman enthusiast. Yes. Uh, but uh, he, he, was, he was so upset. He, he had to get on his show. I, I, I don't know if it's a video podcast or just a just regular YouTube channel or whatever. It's, I can tell you what it is because... Uh, that's when I, when a really I, elaborate way for him to tell the world that he wants that wet ass pussy. Well, here's well the thing. when I when I drive to my parents' house, there is unfortunately a billboard for his show. Oh no! It's apparently a radio show, from what I can gather. Mm. And every time I I just I want someone to jump out of their car and send it and like with no one getting hurt, flying towards that billboard. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh. If it, if it's got his face on it, you should go up there and spray paint like a big mustache on it and be like, ha ha ha. Yeah, unless it's an electronic <laughs> one, then that's not going to work out too well. Uh, oh yeah, no, um, that's a bad time. Yeah, or <laughs> or again, just turn him into Aquaman. There you go. <laughs> We're never letting that meme die. <laughs> yeah. So as a reminder to some folks who may not who may not understand, uh, the whole Aquaman thing it has to do with the fact that. With, you know, with whole climate change and everything, and polar caps melting and everything, the sea level rising, you know, his idea was just sell your homes and move elsewhere. And to the you, ocean? Yeah. And H Bomber guy gave us the greatest response ever. Yeah. Cutting through a goddamn wall. Sell the houses to who, Ben? Fucking Aquaman! <laughs> <laughs> I probably exactly. peaked the mic there. In fact, yes, I did. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> uh, to make up for it. Maybe, to make up for maybe it, he's, <laughs> sorry, go maybe ahead. he's so upset because he is the wet ass pussy. Wait a minute, I've got it. <laughs> I've got it. I figured it out. He's actually Namor the Submariner. <laughs> he's just jealous that Aquaman is more well known and that he is not in the Marvel universe. There you go. In this in this timeline, he's just a barnacle boy. <laughs> Does anyone know what the hell I'm talking about? Um, I've heard of Namor, but... I don't think so. Like, yeah. <laughs> Namor the Submariner was one of the original Avengers. Oh! Yeah. Uh. And, he, uh, and he was also created in the 40s alongside Captain America. Oh, okay. So, I think he predates Aquaman, ironically enough. Oh, cool. Probably. Yes, also I put him. in the green room if <laughs> just a funny video of someone getting kicked in the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like going for a thing where you, you know kick a beer can off your friend's head. Guy kicks low though. Oops. Oops. Oh no. Oh, so, so anyway, uh, to get back to get back to Shapiro here. Yes. Yes. Not only did he read out the lyrics in the video, which, by the way, I, I, oh my god, I haven't seen that. I need to watch that. Now. It's <laughs> it's the whitest thing you will ever see. Yeah, it is so white and so bland. I've eaten rice cakes with more flavor than that. <laughs> that is just wow. I'm waiting for Jimmy to snow to cover it. Oh, uh, just I, I'm sure you, I'm sure you will at some point. Uh, but <laughs> also, and, and this I forgot to put in my thing. It, he also mentioned that uh, what is what is it, women? If if you have like wet pussies, you should go to the hospital or something like that. And it's, his wife. And it's his like, wife is a doctor. Yeah, like there's no excuse, Ben. <laughs> no, no, no. Sir, have you the, seen the vagina? Here's the thing. <laughs> the, ben just... What people realize very quickly is that Ben Shapiro just gave away that he's never satisfied a woman yeah. while being married. While he is married. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like... It's like I, I feel sorry for Dr. Shapiro. I really do. Do, do I? No, because she's still married to Ben Shapiro. <laughs> yeah, but at the very least, the least he could do is give her an orgasm. So, yeah, go over. Like, uh, you know, when you're in that kind of position, I feel like you probably have groupies, you know? Like, she's probably got, like, a bunch of cool boys on call. 
<laughs> Fair enough. That, Fair go. enough. Okay, so I don't feel so much sorry for her now, but um, yeah, fuck Ben Shapiro. To paraphrase Griffin McElroy, I heard this and my ears went to hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and, and yeah, let, let me, let me give some of y'all, uh, some, you know, some of you listeners out there, because there are, there are plenty of American listeners, and we all know the American sex education system is shit. Oh, we know yes, this. Sir. We know this. Yes. So, <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe we have to say this, but the and vaginas. Unless you, unless you live in a super liberal state like I do, or I guess in Oregon, it's actually, they actually teach people things here to be super smart and, like, mature to have your own yeah, and I don't know how I got to the level of sex education that I did because in those years I lived in both Texas and Florida. I live in <laughs> Southern California, and I think I'm fairly certain I had to le- learn this on my own. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, I lived. I grew. I grew up in Southern California in the '90s, so like, yeah, I I, I didn't get really taught much. I had to fuck around and find out. <laughs> yeah. No pun intended. I think they just showed us sex ed films from the '90s. That. <laughs> oh, but uh. But yeah, so, so for those whose sexual education has failed them, uh, when when in the in the middle of of sexual uh, uh, intercourse and, and things like of that nature, the vagina is yeah. supposed to lubricate. That means getting wet. Oh, yeah. That means it's supposed to be wet. Yep. Because let me tell you something. I I have, I I have, you know, in my younger years, not knowing what I was doing, I. I I've not necessarily. Well, I have put into somebody who was dry, not because I didn't turn them on, it's because we were going that long, and that you know you <laughs> gotta replenish sometimes. But um, yeah, and it doesn't feel good. It just doesn't. Ah. No, whether 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 you're wearing protection or not, it's not going to feel good for anybody. So, like, <laughs> well, let me put it this way, guys. Imagine you're at the doctor and you need to get a prostate exam. Mm-hmm. Do you want them to put? Do you want them to put something uh, in your butthole that's not, you know, lubricated first, so that it'll it'll stick, like not stick, but it'll be yeah. Co- to quote Anakin Skywalker, coarse and rough and irritating. Yeah. Hopefully not. Ge- hopefully not getting everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> if I listen, listen. I live here where there's like you know fucking sex shops and strip clubs all over the fucking place. You know, like if I walked into a sex shop and I had a budget and I had the choice to choose between a dildo and a bottle of lube, I would get the bottle of lube because that's far more useful. Yeah. Or hell, you can get a, you get a bottle of lube at like a pharmacy. Oh, I got yeah. Yeah. Hell, I get my bottles of lube, interestingly enough, at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, Walmart sells this shit. Yeah. The Walmart also Motherfucker. sells Motherfucker Like like y'all got tongues and shit too. Like you can <laughs> This is true. Yeah. Use your fucking I, mouth. <laughs> yes. Mouth I fingers. don't know. <laughs> in in most cases the vagina will self lubricate if yeah. if you know stimulated properly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. If it's turned on, it's on. Damn straight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if this it's is like just a getting, British it's thing. Like, hmm? Yeah. Go ahead. Hmm? Um, but in our supermarkets, the condoms and KY and stuff like that are usually next to the headache tablets. You know what that fits? <laughs> that that especially for Ben Shapiro, that fits. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, in in America, they're into fear mongering, so it's next to the uh, like uh, feminine hygiene and diaper products. Yeah, I've seen that. I mean, too. They're, they're adjacent feminine aisles. Hi- like feminine hygiene makes sense. You know, they're trying they're trying to sell them the, the things that are exclusively that goes in for and or around the vagina. But then I'm the like, diapers Ew. is the problem there. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem. Like, no, I don't want any of that shit. Get like, that fucking. It- <laughs> if you're into that, whatever, but, you know, it, it shouldn't, they shouldn't be together in, in <laughs> sales, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Although, yeah. Interestingly, well, you... enough, interestingly enough, I haven't had a chance to Go, but where the fuck are you going with this? Oh, oh, this is a little, little factoid about, about my hometown here. I okay. don't think there are any stores around here that sell condoms. Eww, That's fucking weird. What? We have. That's fucking weird. We yeah. have well, two dollar stores. We have a Dollar General and a Family Dollar. We have a Piggly Wiggly. We have at least two gas stations with with convenience stores. And the last time I checked, and again, it's been a while since I've been to the convenience stores, so I can't say for sure. But at least the other three do not sell condoms. 
Oh my goodness. But, That's crazy. But the I live in so my, my, my city is so liberal that you can walk to like any of these like little like um, walk in places around town. They'll just give you a handful of condoms and be like, here, take care of your shit. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know there was a time where the local clinic could give you free condoms. I yeah. don't know if that's true anymore. I haven't really needed to because you know, I just go get a big old box from Walmart whenever I need right. to get some. But I haven't <laughs> been for a while, but last time I went to my local <clears throat> clinic to get my pill resubscribed, which I haven't, I haven't been on it for a while, mm-hmm. um, they were like, yes, yeah, so you're going to have like a few days where you're not going to be protected, so would you like a box of condoms? And I'm like, oh, no, I'm good at the moment, thank you. But, you know, they, yeah. just, they will just give that shit away. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, that's how it should be. Exactly. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, I'm reminded of a uh, sh- comedian and probably shitty person, given what, what, like you know what the rumors and shit. Aziz Ansari, he had a bit about uh, going to I think it was I think it was Walmart and getting a two liter bottle of Coca Cola, bottle of Jack Daniels, box of condoms, and ten blank CDs. Why ten blank CDs? What the hell was he planning on doing? <laughs> well, he was a comedian. He so he was like making making like tapes and shit. Uh, but just um, I think he had to buy that again. <laughs> <laughs> and what if he came in every day like ten blank CDs? Is he make, making mixtapes for all the girls he's fucking? Two of those girls ain't getting CDs. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I thought he was just gonna record sounds of him smacking his dick against things and call it experimental music. There you go. I used to like yeah, Aziz Ansari. I used to like Aziz Ansari, and then it turns out he was a weird sex guy. Yeah. I can't say a sex pest for sure because of, you know, yeah. weird, like, lines and shit, but weird sex guy seems like a, a yeah. term. Speaking speaking of sex pests, this uh, this has the good way good segue into a really unfortunate... And, and, and unfortunately, that should never be a good segue. You know what, what's yeah. sad is, Gomer. So, I, so, so I had I had a segue earlier into something I'm sure we're going to talk about in news. Yeah, but uh, so just but yeah. remind me. But yeah, this one, this one here, uh, I wanted to bring it up. Um, Amel, Amel, I know you know a thing or two about what I'm about to bring up here. Um, <laughs> and, and it, it's going to bring it down a little bit, but hopefully we'll bring it back up before we hit the news. Um, uh, I don't really. I'm not really a part of the classic gaming community or classic arcade gaming community or what have you. Uh, but I. But I know some people in there, and Mel, Mel knows where I'm going now. Um, yeah. Are we? So if are we talking of, about the if, fact that if, Quake? If we're talking, or, uh, uh, hold on. Uh, okay. If if you've heard of Billy Mitchell, which I think most people, uh. are, we, he's he's one of those assholes. But it's not Billy Mitchell in particular we're talking about here. Uh, we're talking about another. I'm sure guy. he's not far behind. Yeah, we're talking about another asshole who is stalked and harassed and tried to to just basically be a bastard towards at least two of my friends, um, among others. People in the community all hate this dude, and we're happy that he's dead. Yeah, how about you? Yeah, he committed. When it's safe to let's all piss on his grave. <laughs> yes. So. Um, <laughs> So the guy's name is Rudy, what is Rudy Ferretti. I had heard about him mm-hmm. first a few years ago from another from another friend of mine who he made dedicated YouTube videos about her. Like, um, oh my God, what the fuck, at, dude? And this is at first I. I never like I I met this dude once after he'd harassed me online and it was very an awkward situation. Dude's a crazy psychopath. Or was I, I, obviously. Yeah. I at first I thought you said Rudy Fratelli. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no. The ter- the, Goon- the Goonies won in the end. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, That's a secret uh, <clears throat> Yeah. But uh and one of the inc- one incident I don't think it involved either of my friends. It involved him uh stalking and threatening somebody who beat his high score in a game. Uh, mm-hmm. and it's like, wow. And and it's just God. So within the past week, he committed he murdered his uh, the article I have here says his ex girlfriend and then mm-hmm. killed himself. So murder suicide. And and so it's like on the one that hand guy. one pest is gone. So so long, fuck you. Why'd you have to take girl, why'd you have to take the mother with you? She was a mother. She had like what, two or three kids left, left Oh, behind. that sucks. I didn't know that. Yeah, like, dude. Like, if you're gonna you know 
and and before we get too much further into this, um, yeah, like we're gonna say a lot of bad shit about this guy. I feel awful for her. Yeah, there there is that. Yeah, and also suicide in and of itself, you know, not the way to go. It, it's just not. Uh, you know, e- even for a scumbag like Rudy, because for two reasons: one, you know, it, it's people have said it's a permanent solution to a temporary problem, and and that does strike true in a lot of ways. But also, you know, there are ways he could have gotten better. Would he have? We mm-hmm. don't know. But he could have. I, I don't. I would also add it robs the, uh, his victims the chance to uh, see him punished properly. Yeah. There yeah, that, that too. Yeah. Also, I'd like to give a little note on on the preservation of life and being anti-suicide, you know, sometimes even if you try to take your own life, you won't be able to, you know, and then if you survive, you have to deal with that for the rest of your life, too, you know, so think about the consequences of what happens if you fail. That's like a good reason to just not even try. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> you know, survive. There's, there's lots of pretty things in the world to look at. Yeah. But you know, you know. But in Ferretti's case, I guess he was just too far gone. Yeah, that dude. He had. He was also involved with some, you know, those right wing extremist nut jobs too. So that's like, it's like scary, man. Some yeah. scary shit. I, I can't believe I have a segue for this story. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Because it's probably a story we're gonna cover because I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Can um, you guess what it is, Gomer? Um, there are a bunch of things I can guess, but what what with me specifically do you think we would cover um, wrestling? It probably be yeah. wrestling something. Which yeah, Phoenix got it. Uh, mm-hmm. may, if I may, mm-hmm. yes, uh-huh. go ahead. So, uh, speaking of stalking, uh oh, oh god, I really oh, hate dear. that. That's that's the segue that fits here. But uh, let's see. I'm, I'm just trying to find the article. Uh, oh, was it a, was it about the uh, one wrestler who was almost kidnapped? Yes. Oh, I forget her name. I feel bad. Uh, uh Sonia Deville. Thank you. But yeah, I'm tr- I'm trying to find the article now because I just f- I found an excerpt. I'm trying to find the full article. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Sonia Deville mm-hmm. is a uh, uh, is a very like risingly popular women's wrestler in the WWE. Mm-hmm. She's also, I, as far as I know, the only uh, wrestler in the WWE history to be open uh, to be an open lesbian during her tenure. Yeah. Cool. Yep. That is pretty cool. Uh and some some dickhole tried to kidnap her because of course he did. <sighs> and like I'm seeing tweets from this fucker is like uh like calling her a real name, which she did used to go by her real name, but a general rule of thumb, unless you are personal friends with the with the wrestler, don't call them their real name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, I mean, like, like it's it's fine if you know the real name because sometimes that's on Wikipedia, but like, don't call them that. It's just fucking weird. Yeah. Like, like I'm not gonna go up to Rosen just off the street and, and call him by his first name. He, I don't know if he minds, but I mean, w- no, with you it's fine. You, yeah. With me, it's like it's one thing. I generally prefer Rosen, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know it, but I haven't used it except that one time we were in the conversation talking about it. Yeah. yeah. But, like, and another thing, don't find their addresses! Yeah, because that's, that's a thing that's, that happened before this. <laughs> and, like, there's this weird culture in in wrestling. Shocker, there's a weird culture in wrestling. <laughs> yeah. For the, you don't say. I, I can't, did, did I talk about the, like dozens of sexual assault cases uh, recently revealed in wrestling on, on this podcast? I, I want to say yes, but... It, okay, it good, because I don't want to have to get into it again, but yeah, for, for, right. for the benefit of Mel, who I, who I don't know if knew about this. No, I didn't hear about it. Yeah, uh, especially in the British scene. Just one yeah. person uh, talked about uh, a prominent wrestler uh, assaulting them, and then it just spiraled, oh, not spiraled, uh, opened the floodgates to a bunch of people speaking out about it. Yeah. To the point where the British government supposedly got involved, oh, but they didn't actually do anything because, you know, government. Yeah. And some are, some some people are being rightfully punished. Some people are not, like oh. Velveteen Dream, who we have screenshots of him. We have screenshots and audio of him 
being a pedophile, but he's still employed by the Ooh. but he's still employed by the WWE and just came back. God and damn. Triple H said that he uh, th that they didn't find anything in the investigation, despite not talking to one of the victims. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> but back on this topic, the point is, don't find their addresses yeah. because it's it's creepy and leads to shit like this, like. Bully Ray was talking... Uh, who's an idiot. I, I hate Bully Ray. Mm -hmm. but, and I feel safe in t calling him an idiot because he said shit like, don't uh, don't worry about fans finding you at the airport uh, waiting for you. Worry about when that's not happening because it means you're not popular anymore. If that's the case, I'd rather be, I'd rather be obscure and safe. Yeah? Yeah. Just, like, that's yeah. that's kind of my my jam. I, I you know I had the opportunity to be in front of more people, but it's like no, no, I, I would rather be safe. <laughs> yeah. I'll be king of the indies. I'm fine with that. Weirdly enough, uh, the worst the worst one I've, example I've seen was from a guy. Oh. Someone found his grandmother's address. Holy shit. Ooh. No. But uh, yeah, I'll hey, I'll put this. Gun. Yeah, <laughs> like like I well, well for... he's Canadian, so yeah, <laughs> that might be difficult. Yeah, uh, I'm putting uh, this in the green room. Give me a second. Yeah, I, I am all for you know it, it's it's okay to like somebody. It's all okay to admire them and all of that stuff, and it's okay to even want to know more about them or or even want to date them or or bang them or whatever. Those are perfectly fine and normal. In and of themselves, because hey, we're all human. We have thoughts and feelings and expressions. We, thoughts we, are illusions; they aren't reality yeah. until you act upon them. Okay. Exactly. So you know, uh, I can say, thing, I say yeah, I want to get with I've had so and so over as a, there I still across the street. Get but, on you know, I find it weird that this wasn't the same guy and by the who uh, kid, who has been arrested multiple times for stalking the WWE Performance the Center. Rules, yes. And you're supposed to grow and develop. And yeah. no, uh, and you have these little passion feelings. Back on. You learn to deal with yeah. them. This person is past the age where he should have yeah. learned to deal with them. Oh God. <laughs> Yikes! Yeah, that's a big yikes. Yeah. No, I'm I'm reading some of this. This guy is legitimately insane. Oh lordy. He quote. Oh, no. He was he was carrying a knife, plastic zip ties, duct tape, and mace. Mm -hmm. Gee, bus. I I don't think he's going for a pleasant walk in the woods with that equipment. No. <laughs> oh, I, I, I do have one, uh, one like, bit of levity from this. In reading this, I forgot that Sonya Deville's uh, self-appointed nickname was the Pride Fighter. Hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Oh. How about you kill your ego instead? Yay! Mm. <laughs> oh, so that's, that's the stalker, not Sonya. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, the, oh. No, I, I meant... Oh no! no I, I I see the confusion here. No, the the pride fighter is in like prize fighter, but not because she's gay. Mm -hmm. Ah, gotcha. Um, okay, so it's not funny if you have to explain it. <laughs> it's not. I yeah, but uh, a quote from I'm not sure what I'm not sure what article this is, but uh, like I saw this was the excerpt I saw. Yeah. When the guy who I'm not naming because he's arrested and fuck mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. uh, began to walk toward her, uh, Bernardo, that's her real name, ran, ran to the friend's room. A court motion told prosecutors later to file to, uh, to hold blank without bail said the friend was uh, Mandy Rose, who is uh, currently in a feud with... Sorry, they're, they're friends. Yeah. They're friends. That's all you need to know. Quote, There's a man in the house. We have to go, Baronado told the friend. She grabbed her keys, went to the garage, and the two sped away. Baronado called 911. When Hillsborough deputies arrived minutes later, the guy was still at the home, records say. Baronado watched video from her security system and saw that Blank had followed her, quote... But he thought I ran up the stairs, leaving me and my friend just enough time to escape. Wow. After learning, yep, after learning Blank's identity from uh, deputies, Baronado typed his name in into her Instagram account and found hundreds of messages from his account dating back to March 2019. God damn. The yeah. nature of the messages from this account were obsessive, suicidal, idolizing, saying, quote, You are the only person I will ever love. Wow. She saw another account without a profile photo that contained what she described as similar grammar and 
quote, disturbingly threatening. Yeah, the last message from that account uh, arrived at 12.16 a.m. on Sunday. Quote, look outside, oh, baby, no. by your pool. I'm here. I'm going to kill that little oh. bitch you have inside Yikes. with you. That is... That is... Both messages are... That's fucking insane. That is horrifying. Yeah, those... That's those the exact the... reasons I never want to be famous, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I am... I am so sorry that happened to her. That is horrific. That is. And... Oh... Those, those, those would go... Those would probably explode both the the nice guy subreddit and the creepy PM subreddit. <laughs> the, the, just everybody would explode. Be like, what the fuck? I don't, that's that ain't not that ain't that ain't even nice guy anymore. That's just well, the, yeah. Well, the creepy PM that's spooky definitely, shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's Billy Loomis fuckery right there. Indeed. Oh, uh, so so before we before we get to the midway point break and everything, uh, the past few shows we've been going over four category four uh, topics in what I call the meme list. Uh, what it was is there was a list of 64 topics, and it, when you put it on social media, you, you, you're supposed to get likes and you give your opinion on them. Well, I decided <laughs> to turn it around, started from the bottom, and we're working our way back up. And we have, and we've been doing them in the of four. Z some of them take a while, some of them don't. It just depends. Uh, the first one we've got for this week is Neo Pronouns. <laughs> Things like Zer, Z, etc. You, you cut out, so all I heard was the first one we got is Ne- Neo Pronouns. <laughs> Neo what? Neo pronouns. Oh, I like don't know what Matrix? that is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, that got me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Neo pronouns like Zer and Z, uh, X I R X I E for those who need the spelling. Um, um, and for me personally, as, as it stands now, it's like, okay, whatever. I mean, do whatever you want. Yeah. When I first heard about them, I, I, I kind of poked fun at it a little bit because I thought it was silly. And truth be told, I do kind of a little bit still think they sound silly, but at the same time, it's like, oh, I'm not going to dog you over it. You know? Yeah, it's si well, silly yeah, to me. I, I, I'm, what, what, what is this that we're speaking of? Oh, uh, uh, neo pronoun, according to uh, intercultural.uncg.eu, so like neo pronouns like are a category of new pronouns that are increasingly used in place of she, he, or they, with referring to a person. Some examples include. Xi, Xem, and Xir. Z, his, and he, uh, her, and hers. Like, Neep. basically new spellings of pronouns. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, which, gotcha. which part of my brain is spoken like, we already have thing, we already have thing. Like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, the, the only one I find funny is N-E. Oh, yeah. Because you can literally be the knights who say knee. Exist, but <laughs> if you're happy with it, knee. then I'll, I'll respect it. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I do whatever you want. It's not hurting people. Yeah, I think that's I, all I got. Kind of all agreement on that. I, I want to say. Um, uh, we're, we're, we're all on it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, our next one up is internet culture, <laughs> and it's like it exists. That's me. Yeah, there you go. It's memes. Memes, shit posting, yeah. It it needs some serious work. Oh yeah, and it shouldn't be for kids. No, at least at least not. Uh, not internet, in its current state. Yeah, internet culture should be the same as non-internet culture. You have the culture for adults, and you have the culture for kids. That's how it should be. You know? See, that's why, I mean, like, they make, like, safety protocols that people can fucking use on their internet if they have children to fucking make sure they, they aren't just visiting don't. Yeah. shady shit sites. Yeah, because they're shitty parents, so yeah. fucking get your shit together yeah, and yeah. don't blame your problems on technology that you can't fucking use. Yeah. <laughs> just goddamn. Uh, uh, and, uh, and to go back into language things... He, him, lesbians is the next one. And honestly, bear in mind, bear in mind, I, I am a cis hat dude talking this. And, and, and from where I'm standing, if you are a lesbian and you identify with he, him, okay. It, yeah. It, it might throw me off a little bit because not used to it, but I'll get used to it. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. You identify as a man, you like. You know, you, you if if you are 
if, if, if you are what would be typically considered a woman, uh, I say typically, and you identify with if you could, yeah, with he him, and and you only like other women, okay, it's valid, is what I'm getting at. Yes, if I if yeah. I may, oh, uh, good. Oh no, you go ahead. Uh, with most things, I I tend to just refer to references just because that's how my brain works. Mm-hmm. And with this, I'm I'm remembering a Homestar Runner fan comic I saw that uh, really captures the spirit of uh, how to how to approach people who who tell you that they are uh, non-binary. Mm-hmm. It was like a, a do's and don'ts thing. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Uh, it was strong bad r- learning that the cheat was non-binary. Yeah. Uh, don't. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm g- I'm gonna screw this up a lot. Do. That's cool by me. Let's go put eggs out in Strong Bad's crisper drawer. There you go. I I know. Some, yeah, I am a, I know, I'm actually an I NB myself. I know a lot of but, butch lesbians, uh, but I don't know any uh, assigned um, female, so AFAB. Um, but I don't really give a shit what people so refer to me as, me, a he or she again, or the they. Live, the I'm just live. like yeah, I'm a I'm a human. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Yeah. I am I am yeah. horrible. I am horrible. I am horrible because as soon as you said super butch, my mind went to uh, Rick James. Oh Don't. no. <laughs> super butch. <laughs> She's super butchy. Yow. <laughs> there you go. Oh. And last one. Oh boy. Say what are we doing? the N word. Don't don't. Don't do it. Yeah. Not even if somebody gives you a pass, don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Get some <laughs> help. I will, I, will, I, will, I will say this because I want to make sure all bases are covered and because I want to make sure nobody comes and be like, well, what about this? What about this? Here are <laughs> situations as a white person yeah. where saying the N-word is even close to acceptable. Number one. If it is for a particular role in like a mm-hmm. movie or a TV series in a particular <laughs> time period, i.e., North yeah, I was South. about to say if if you're if you're doing like acting and shit, yeah, acting is one. If you are discussing the word and you need to make sure it's understood as that particular word, that's one thing. You know, George Carlin was able to do a whole bit, of, you know, using the word it, it, fully using the word back in 1990. And you know what? It was fine. Because it's discussion of the word. You know, discussion. However, that makes up probably about 1% mm. of all the things that one could use the word for. And here, here is also another thing. Legally speaking, nobody is saying you cannot say the word. We are, you know, you know say whatever words you want to say. <laughs> okay. We can call you a dick nugget, Wouldn't though. Yeah, exactly. Or we can call you a racist or whatever. Because that has consequences. It'd be, you know, legally, you could go into the middle mm. of a black neighborhood uh, and you could scream the N word as a white person. Legally, you can do that. Uh, kind of related. However, um, I don't, don't expect Melbourne to walk out of there with all your teeth. Posted up into yeah. business thing and, so, so um, can can you say paper. it? So you there can. was a guy Should on the underground. It? No. Basically, spouting a Not whole bunch of racist. That one percent of things that I mentioned earlier. Oh, uh, he he got knocked out. He got knocked out. The young man who did it got congratulated, and and according to the newspaper I read this morning, I saw this. Oh, no. No, yeah, he it. got knocked out, huh? He got knocked the fuck out. Yes. <laughs> I mean, obviously, um, yeah, the, the uh, FTL for London are like uh, the entire yeah. rest of the subway car cheered. The, 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 yes. the London Transport Police, um, they have their own. Like, it's, a de- it's a department in itself. They are looking for people. And <laughs> yes, who has it? Don't see the, shit. Don't say you know, shit. They have to make yep. them yep. Is it? But yeah, apparently, it wasn't actually reported on. <laughs> but. Don't know the reference. 
Yeah. That yeah. that that's very much a Ken. Re- <laughs> oh, sorry. It's all right. That's very much a Ken Rex McElroy situation. There you go. Where, for those who don't know, Ken Rex Ken Rex McElroy was this uh, notorious like motherfucker who just ho- did horrible, horrible shit for like uh, over a decade in this t- in this one small town in Missouri, mm-hmm. and uh, he got no, away I- with it because he was just that intimidating, and he had a mafia no connected ace. lawyer, and he never got in trouble except once. Wow. And even then, it was like they they had to like loosen the charges and shit. But then, when they realized that he wasn't going to be stopped, the entire town banded together, shot him the fuck up, and nobody has said a thing to this day. Wow. This was in the eighties. Holy shit. Wow. I was gonna say uh, Portland, uh, in regards to the guy that got knocked out on the train in the UK. Uh, Portland had a similar situation happen with the protesters recently. The other night, I think it was uh, night before last, uh, some drunken uh, guy tried to plow his truck into protesters, but protesters stopped his truck and they got him out and they beat the shit out of him. Oh, I heard and then this. yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I've been following the feeds and what's going on because this shit's happening like blocks away from me. And yeah. um, somebody's like, "Yeah, the two two of these dudes that are armed just walked into these apartments, <laughs> and these apartments are kind of where I live." And I'm like, "Oh shit, what the fuck?" And then I looked into it some more, and I guess <laughs> one of the guys that beat up the drunk guy in the truck apparently lives in the same complex as I do, and so I guess they were probably looking for that guy. But I'm just like. Shit's a little too close for, you know, comfort. It's, yeah. uh... <laughs> my, my door's barricaded. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that is a, that's a little terrifying. Yeah, yeah so who, who oh. knows what the fuck's gonna happen. I'm just trying to Yay. stay out of it and just keep relaying information, you know, and keeping to myself. Yeah. Cause, yeah, they just, like, uh, Scary, and all his man. friends are bitching him over. Yeah, he's only like that when he's so, drunk. <laughs> so on the, on yeah, but anyways, that guy, that guy got beat up too for being a racist dumb yeah. bitch. So I <laughs> just wanted to put that out there. Well, <laughs> also the guy in the, the guy in the tube, mm-hmm. of course, not wearing a mask. Of course not. <laughs> oh, of course not. No. Uh, so <laughs> maybe, maybe he should. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't be I drunk then. Exactly. So, you know, yeah, so I'm I'm on, drunk, on, the, yeah. on the tube when you're drunk. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, and I'm only happy when it rains. So <laughs> moving on. I, I lied. I'm never happy when it rains. Yeah. Shirley Manson. Shirley Manson lied to me. Indeed. I live in the Northwest, so I have no choice. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I, same. <laughs> I will say the best sign I've ever seen in a wrestling show is still "I'm only happy when it ro- when it Roman rains." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Here, we're going to go ahead and take our break, and when we come back, we will have the actual news story. I see some notes there. So, uh, Sorry. Stick around. Hey, folks, we'll get back to the show in a moment, but first, I want to tell you about Patreon. Uh, Patreon is what I use to get around all of the YouTube ad- adpocalypse bullshit, and while I don't have a lot right now, every little bit does help. And if you like what you hear or what you see on any of my videos or podcasts, head on over there for as little as a dollar a month. You can get all of these things early before anybody else does, and you can get them completely ad-free. Yeah, I know YouTube right now is technically ad-free, but at some point I'm probably going to get big enough to where ads will start coming in. And those can be annoying, so you want to avoid that, right? If you go ahead and go now over to patreon.com slash gomer 2 x leave a dollar, five dollars, doesn't matter how much, You can get all of these, again, you can get them early, and you get them without ads. Even when I reach the point on YouTube to where ads can be put on these videos. So, it's a win-win. And you can even avoid the ads that go up on the Anchor versions that go out to all of the other websites that are out there. No ads! It's great! Uh, So that's patreon.com slash gomer21xx. Oh, howdy howdy everybody. Oh wow, this... Yeah, as you can see from the timestamp, it's a long-ass episode. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Not much to really talk about. I mentioned uh, the game Fall Guys earlier in the show, and uh, yeah, it is a lot of fun. It's it's easy to easy to learn, but difficult to master. Um, yeah, you got things like that there. Some people get really brutalized. I say brutalized. Brutal and brutalized, I guess. Um... But one thing we didn't mention on the show about it 
about Fall Guys was they're holding like at at the time of this recording they're holding like a charity auction for uh, for like skins and stuff for companies to take advantage of with their IPs or what have you. So you know think think like for example I don't think they're doing this but for example like Rare with Banjo and Kazooie or Capcom with Mega Man that sort of thing. Um, I don't know if either of them are actually doing it, but you know, just just to serve as an example, and these are just for like skins in the game. Um, funny thing is, one of that they've ha- actually had to turn down at least one uh, one company, one developer, or what have you, and it's a developer known as Nutaku, N U Taku, T A K U. Um, and if you don't know them, that's okay. Um, because I'm about to tell you, Nutaku is behind the Crush Crush games, and I think there's also a gender flip version of it. Uh, I think it's called Blush Blush. I think it is. Um, but uh, they're basically um, hentai dating games, hentai idol dating simulator games. That's a mouthful. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, the games themselves, they're cute, they're quirky, or, or at least Crush Crush is. Uh, and it's free to play, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's cute, it's quirky, you know, it's got a little sexy in it, because of course it does. Um, and if you're into idle stuff like that, you know, you, you might like it. But they wanted they wanted to jump in on the thing, but one of their mascots, and, and uh, since uh, Fall Guys is meant to be more of a family-friendly, kid-friendly game, they're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just uh uh-uh. uh, oh lordy. So uh, so yeah. As as you've been hearing, we've had Mel on this episode. Uh, I've talked her up a lot, and um, I really like her. She's awesome. She's good people. Um, yeah. Oh god, I would love to. I'd love to have her on more often if if she's got the time and the energy for it. Um, to be completely honest, and by the time this goes up, I will have told her that myself. So if she listens back to this, and she's just hearing this. Is like, no, I've told you. <laughs> I have definitely told you. Um, but yeah, so Mel Mel is a real treat. Um, love to have her on more often. Uh, especially you, you'll you'll hear more of that throughout the second half of the show as well. Um, she's she's good people, and and I hope you guys are enjoying us having her on. Um, and, and all of that good stuff. Um, we'll 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 figure out audio things later on because we're working with what we've got on on some ends here, um, which which is why like like some of the audio quality is uneven because we're working with what we've got. So yeah. Anyways, um, I, I just wanted to ramble a little bit behind the scenes stuff, a little bit about the Fall Guys thing and what have you. Uh, second half of the show. Oh boy, we don't even get through all the news stories. That's how long we take on it, and it still turns out to be the time it is. Um, but yeah, um, we'll get we'll get back to the show, and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Take care. And we are back from our break, and we're gonna hit up some news and. Rosen, I, th- I think it was—I think it was you who mentioned the uh, dude that was shot up by the entire town of Missouri. Ken Rex McElroy, yes. Yeah. So uh, our first news story comes out of Missouri, <laughs> and this one also comes with a PSA, in 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 the in the sense that uh, I, I've driven trucks. Yeah. Um, and 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 when I mean trucks, I mean those big old big ass semi trucks. Driving a truck, driving a big old truck. With my high heels. <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> Interestingly enough, in my personal Discord, that's my that's the channel I have for all trucking related stuff. That's Shocker. the name of it. Yeah, it, it's a weird. I still don't get that joke, or is it just from the song? Um, but anyways, this uh, is out of Os- Osage County, I think is how it's pronounced. I thought you were gonna say Osaka. No, uh, <laughs> but the Missouri State Highway Patrol Troop F reported the Pentecostal Bridge n- near West Westphalia, not West Philadelphia, uh, collapsed after a semi truck attempted to cross it. A truck carrying feed tried to cross the bridge on Monday afternoon, according to MSHP. Uh, the bridge had a posted sign of a five-ton weight limit. The truck was carrying thirty thousand pounds, uh, and, and that was thirty thousand pounds over the weight limit of the bridge. So probably about thirty-two k, forty k. Because I have to do my things on the fly. Uh, the driver attempted to back up, and when he was attempted to back up the hill, he struck a guardrail. Said uh, Colby Holsuch, the MSHP corporal. Uh, then, as he tried to go back around the corner and try to get straightened out, 
He was striking it. Striking the rock. It says striking it rock in the thing, but uh, anyway. So he continued yeah. to go back and forth, racking against, racking the rock and the guardrail. Once he eventually started to make the turn again, he struck the bridge, which caused the bridge to collapse with him on it. Apparently, and, and this isn't in the article, this is, this is me here. Apparently, the dude either had a shitty GPS or wasn't following it. Because here, here's a note for, for people who may not know. They do have, like, actual GPSs meant for truck drivers, you know, that tell you, like, hey, you can't go this way in a truck. You have yeah. to go that way. That sort of thing. Mm. Um, a lot mm-hmm. of it does have to deal with it being updated as well. There was one point where I got I got pulled over and let off with a warning in Texas for going through a particular city where trucks aren't supposed to go, even though GPS didn't really say anything different. So you also need to pay attention to your signs too, which for whatever reason, that sign was a little obscured for me. Weird. Anyway, um, mm. but when it comes to like weight and stuff, yeah, you pay attention to that shit. Because last thing we need is... Last thing any mm-hmm. driver needs is to fall off a bridge and into, like, a river or a ditch or something. I um, drove mm-hmm. my car into a fucking lake, Jim. Yeah. Preliminary info indicates that it had at least 40,000 pounds of cargo. Let's see, I was right. Uh, not including the weight of the truck and trailer, <laughs> uh, Troop F tweeted. Um, the driver of the truck was not injured. Wait, this was F Troop? Apparently. Um, but the Nobody's going to remember that. Yeah. As I said, the driver of the truck is not injured, so he's okay. Uh, according to Holsuch, uh, the driver can be issued citations for violating the weight limit, but he is unsure if one was issued. I kind of hope so. Uh, that, that is a real dumbass thing to do. And, and admittedly, I have been like turned around on like, you know, on, on, on like dirt roads or stuff before. Very, very rarely. Very rarely. But, you know, nothing really bad happened. Mm-hmm. Nothing, you know. No weight limits or anything, and if and if all else failed, I have I had a co-driver at the time, so he could have I could have woken his ass up like, hey, help me back out of this shit. How about it? Um, but uh, but yeah, yeah, the, you, you this could have been avoided. This is where proper trip planning comes into play, my man. Ah, uh, I mean, he's probably from out of town, which okay, that's fair, but one of the things I tell you is, if you're delivering somewhere. Call the call ahead if you have to. You know, most of the times I've not had to, but but if you have to, do it. There there's nothing wrong with it. They will be happy to say, hey, you're bringing us our shit. Here's how you go. Here's where you go. Oh, so so who wants who wants to give their thoughts on this first? <laughs> uh, I don't drive. It's too scary. I, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good with weights and volumes. How much is your average truck with like with just your trailer without uh, adding cargo onto it? Because five tons doesn't seem like a huge uh, five limit tons, to me. Five tons—that's about ten thousand pounds, I believe. Uh, um, so so ten thousand—that's about the same size as like your car, or your average car or truck. So one of them could have done it, but a semi—I think the cab alone. But, I'm not sure about the trailer. The cabs alone. You're supposed to only have like twelve and a half thousand, like twelve thousand five hundred, I think, is what it's supposed to weigh, and that and that even depends on whether or not you have a uh, a cooling unit in it, like for your for your bunk cooler, bunk heater, and all mm-hmm. that. So then that so adds a little bit. If I'm hand- if I'm understanding these numbers correctly, if even as an unladen truck, you shouldn't be going that way. Right. Right. So what the fuck was he doing? Getting lost. Being an idiot. Yeah. Which, and, and I understand being lost. It happens sometimes, but dude, that's where, that's where, uh, this dude either was just a general idiot or he's just fresh new. Either one. If you're new, then, you know, lesson learned. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. The bridge has to be rebuilt, but, you know, thing, things happen. Ugh. Oh dear. Uh, any any of y'all got any other thoughts before we move on? Or not really. Nah. Alrighty. So this next one is out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Which, by the way, one of the one of the most one of the most in, I wanna say interesting, I don't know how funny it is. One of the things that have stuck out to me from Larry the Cable Guy was 
It was, uh, you know, you know what, what you get when you spell Tulsa backwards? A slut. Which <laughs> is true. Which is true. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, hey. So, uh. So make Tulsa backwards a slut. Yep. Mm, All right. Um, cool. So, uh. So, yeah, so uh, Kansas Church, labeled by the Southern Poverty Law Center as a hate group, now wants its own messages on Tulsa streets because of the Black Lives Matter mural on Greenwood. Uh, Greenwood That's not how that works. No, that is not how that works. And guess which group it's talking about? White people. Well, okay, yeah, white people, yes. This space? Is it Quanon? Is it this space? Nope. It, It is... It is the Westboro Baptist Church. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, they're uh, they still going. They're relevant. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> but they say, now, they say that they emailed Mayor G.T. Bynum asking for the street space near all hospitals. You're running a fucking circus? I know, right? Uh, <laughs> they asked for street space near all hospitals that treat COVID-19 patients. And the church, oh, said, the church said in the email, God has sent the coronavirus in fury. You know, they say God sends everything in a fury. You know, somebody gets the measles. God sent you the measles and the fury. You know, you have the runs. God gave you the runs and the fury. This is everything's in everything is God in a fury. Ugh. In fact, that's one of several messages it wants to be written on the streets along with fear God and repent or perish. But local BLM supporters say the Black Lives Matter message belongs in the historic Greenwood district where the race massacre of 1921 happened. Other murals, they say, may not belong on city streets at all. What will it benefit? Reverend Mario Johnson with the Tulsa chapter of the Black Lives Matter movement said, we can't put up things that influence, promote hate and violence. Johnson says community leaders are trying to find a legal way to keep the BLM mural on Greenwood, which apparently that goes into its whole other separate thing. But, but this right here, just, just like, like, like Mel said, just, just trying to stay relevant. And I guess, you know, worked a little bit because we're talking about them, but, but it's like, yeah. you know, not a good regardless, way. regardless of whether or not they want to try and stay relevant, what they're doing is just another example of just them being total tone. I don't, I don't even want to say tone deaf because I don't know if that's accurate, but just dickwads. It's like you got people in there, they're suffering. And all of a sudden it's like, yeah, it's, you know, God's striking you down for, for things that you may or may not have done. You know, <laughs> according, <laughs> to them, according to them, God's a dick. Well, I mean, canonically Some God's, gods a dick. are dicks, maybe, he probably. Is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some gods use their dick way too much. Hi, Zeus. Oy. Some gods have a detachable dick. Hi, Coca Pilau. There you go. <laughs> I... uh, but, so yeah. the usual so, thing with something like this is I don't know, why don't you flip it around and try the argument from the other point of view except in this case it has been done I can't remember which city it was it might have been a couple of cities mm-hmm. but when people were talking about putting the Ten Commandments in front of courthouses in the States Mm-hmm. And then people were saying, well, you can't do that because separation of church and state and everything. And they would say, oh, but it's just like a, a monument to this thing. And like anyone could put a monument up. So the church of state were basically like, all right, we want to put a Baphomet statue up. And then people lost their fucking shit. Oh, yes, I remember this. <laughs> that, that statue is fabulous, by the way. Have you seen Portland's uh, Stagula Rasa? I don't Which is, know. Uh, there was okay so at the justice center where all the protests are happening there was this elk statue and then like the people that were like tagging things setting things on fire they were using the pit in front of the statue to be like the the fire pit where everybody gathers around for the evening or whatever but eventually the city oh, took away awesome. the yeah it was pretty cool and yeah like drum circles and shit the protests have been hella peaceful but anyways um so they took the elk statue away and it kind of became like a a symbol for the the movement and so um some street artists put together uh out of like metal and recite i think it's some of the recycled grills if i'm not mistaken and that's what the material looks like but they made this like hell demon elk thing and put it in the elk statue's place (laughs) so where the the mighty art elk stood is now just like this this thing with like an elk skull with like its tongue hanging out and it's got teeth and it looks like the horse of death. That's great. Fucking metal. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's the metal elk. Awesome. So yeah, and it's got a it's got a uh, Twitter now, and they call it Stagula Rasa. <laughs> so check that out. Nice. <laughs> that's our that's our our, nice. our city's deity elk. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. But yeah, the point I was like. You don't like it when other people say, but I want the same thing you have because you don't like the thing that they want. You know, the, <clears throat> if the BLM mural, like they said there's well, maybe a legal challenge or they need to make for a legal way to stay, mm -hmm. then okay, that's an ordinance thing. Um, also, it, as far as I know, it's just a sign saying BLM or Black Lives Matter, not yeah. saying, yo, go and die because God. Yeah. Yeah, we chased off one of those preachers at Saturday Market this previous weekend. I took some party horns and I kept blasting them with him till he went away. <laughs> nice. Yes. And then when those were exhausted, I got onto eBay and I bought myself a, an actual megaphone with a siren on it. And so I'm going to take that to market with me. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, so, uh, uh, Rosen, you got any other thoughts you want to add to this before we move on? Not really. All right. I was kind of. I would. Just, I would be the one blasting Zach De La Roca. That's just me. There you go. Oh. oh, also, actually, I do have a thing. Oh. This year has made me realize something. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't give a shit about hypocrisy. In what? In way? the sense, in the sense that we, you shouldn't use hypocrisy as like a gotcha. Because these people don't care about hypocrisy. This is true. And they never have, and they never will. They're still yeah. They're as, not very self-aware. Yeah. As but, we're like, as we're pointing out that they are, you know, doing horrible things, they will continue to do horrible things and just not care. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah, and you gotta find a way yeah. to make them stop in the way that they will care. But, they gotta uh, wear themselves yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, outlast them, and if and if that fails, well, there are other means. But I would rather. I would rather take less violent means as possible, but, you know. Those are for special times. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, so, we mentioned earlier that, uh, you know, that people were, were wanting to come down to Florida, or, or at least I touched on it a little bit. Um, but uh, roughly six million Americans plan to fly during the upcoming Labor Day weekend, many of them to Florida and other hotspot areas struggling to contain the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite CDC guidance saying the best way to protect oneself and others is to stay home. Data collected by the travel itinerary app TripIt uh, show that while total flight bookings over the holiday weekend are down 66% compared to 2019, an unusually high proportion of those who have decided to fly over the holiday are headed to Florida, Arizona, Nevada, Mexico, and the Caribbean, all of which are struggling to rein in the COVID-19 pandemic. No thanks to our fucking governor. Fuck you, DeSantis. Fuck you hard. Those beach retreats and weekends in the sun, however tempting, after months of mon monotony, lockdowns, and quarantines, threaten to roll back prog progress at a critical moment in America's fight against the pandemic. Also, I, I just want to put this out there. Um, maybe we've tried reopening schools in, in, in Florida. Um, there is at least one down, down in, in part of the shaft part of Florida. Uh, you know, like Tampa, I think it is. And... Um, yeah, they're already having to quarantine kids and teachers. You've already got mm -hmm. kids going to school with one mask, coming home with a different mask. Which, under other circumstances... I wish that would people, like, would be more patient, you know, and, like, learn how to do, like, meditation and mindfulness techniques so they wouldn't be so fucking restless when they have to spend a couple days inside. Yeah, that, video games, we have movies, you know, we have things. So many books. That's, yeah. Just, I have we, Prime we Flix Plus. Yeah, there you go. Oh, but oh, and 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 there's also another thing that kind of adds another wrinkle into the whole distance education thing. There are some people who can't do it because they're just that po. Um, so you know, and and these and and these are like kids who are also getting into trouble for not attending classes because they can't, because they don't have the means to do so. And mm -hmm. I also want to mention that it does does fall into prim primarily poorer minority families. So, yeah, that's another piece of bullshit that needs to happen. This is why we need things like universal basic income. Everybody, every citizen gets yep. two thousand dollars a month minimum. 
Lovely. That would be lovely. Yeah. Shit. Two thousand dollars a month. Half of it would go to bills. Part of it, uh, you know. You know what? I, you know, at full disclosure, I do invest in the stock market because you know pragmatism. But, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I could put some of that into that, and you know what? That builds something for the future. And you know what? I'm not sponsored, but Robinhood is a good entryway into it. It's easy for anybody to get into. The thing itself is free. You could pay a little bit to have like their gold option or whatever, and it's just five dollars a month. But mm. even without that, you can get in there. You can start doing, you know, trading stocks and shit. And you can yeah. I think that them. people that make the argument that people would work less if they had a universal income are so full of shit. Because if I, I mean, like, just uh, from me and the people that I've spoken to, it's a similar situation. Like, we would invest that, and we would contribute more to your economy or whatever. You know, if we had the means to do so. You know, a lot of us can't go any farther because there are these limitations put in place, whether it be because of where we live or because of local laws or whatever that prevent us from making more than a certain amount of money, you know? And it's like, it's so unnecessary. If we were taken care of, like, everything would be cool, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, and, and honestly, if I suddenly had $2,000 a month to live on at, at, the, at the point where I am right now, I, mm -hmm. I, I'll be honest, I would take at least some time to go travel. At least, yeah. well, as soon as I can safely do so, but... You know. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> did I, I tell that. you I wanted to take a staycation at Jansen Beach on the Colorado River, but it turns out that's where the feds were. Oh no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is I I was like, fuck. Yeah. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, there you go. I'm just I'm trying to just I my parents my dad worked like every day tirelessly for th like many many decades mm -hmm. and they finally just saved up and got you know a, a timeshare in Maui yeah Casey and I were going to go yeah. there just because she's never been outside the continental US right it was, it was going to be you know just a reward for surviving this dog shit year <laughs> now it's probably not going to happen yeah oh, no <laughs> Uh, just wanted something nice. Yeah. That sucks, dude. Yeah. Oh, God. I miss it, doing live shows, man. Yeah. And, and I, it's still like this next year. Cause, uh, I was supposed to start wrestling training this year. Yeah. And if it's still like this or next resume, year. Or resume, anyway. Cause, yeah. If it's still like this next year, like next summer, my, my folks have a uh, timeshare condo down in Kissimmee. Oh, motherfuckers uh, are going to drop. Yeah. <laughs> Just oh, and for those who don't know, Kissimmee is right there next to Disney World. Um, yeah, I, I, I've ooh. seen the Florida Project. It's it's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, you should but, see the Florida Project though. It's a good movie. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, it's like if it's like this next year, like whew, none of us are probably gonna go. Even though well, the last time we had it, last time they had it, you know, I, I was able to go and spend most of the week there, and it's nice, you know. That's nice enough. <laughs> Especially since I didn't have to pay for it. But, you know, uh, and I would like to take people. You know, couldn't take too many because it's not that big, but uh, it, it, would, it would be nice to have, like, a small group down there have a good get-together, but if it thinks like, like this... like an art commune. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, something like that. Like a creation station situation. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. Well, that could be a title. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so our next our next news story. I had a couple of oh. quick thoughts. Sorry, oh. Gamer. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, what? Well, the, the the main one being, uh, don't just stay home. Like arrange something with your family. You know, get on Zoom or Skype or Discord or whatever you've got, and just chat to people there. You don't need to crowd on a beach. I, I know it's like your big holiday, but no, just don't. Yeah. And also, a couple of thoughts. <laughs> when you were saying. Fuck Rick DeSantis, my brain filled in with Ben Shapiro's dry dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's also Ron DeSantis, but yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we do have a Rick, Sorry, yeah. Rick Scott. There's also Rick Scott. I think you may have combined the two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's using a DeSanto. Wait, DeSanto? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever El name Goma said, that's what my brain filled in. Okay? Ron El uh, Remy El Hijo del Santo. There you go. Oh, Lordy. Uh, 
And the other thought I had when we were talking about the, the school stuff, uh, mm-hmm. this one's a bit more of a sincere thought, I hope. Like, something like a channel like Skillshare. Yeah. Do they have, I, I haven't really explored it a little bit, like, I looked at the mostly creative stuff, but do they have or could they have a section for, like, um, actual edu- like kids' educational stuff, like, that's um, curriculum based? The, you know, okay, obviously they've got the premium one, but that would be enough free content that the kids could learn stuff from there. From something like oh, we don't. Share that it's already online. We don't like kids learning here, apparently, because it makes them less subservient. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, teach them anyway. Yes. I mean, I, 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 I would have loved to have gotten a job in education if the system weren't so fucked. Yeah. yeah. If you're if you're wondering I mean, why the education system is so bad here, Republicans destroyed it. Yeah, just like yeah, they destroyed they pretty much everything the else. Shit out of it. Yeah, just like I mean, they destroyed the post office. Up, if the schools can set up remote learning and the kids can sort it out that way, then they <laughs> they go fair enough. Then all kids are learning at the same time. But alternatives. You know, I mean, you can just you can watch documentary channels. You can watch like you know, I know Nat Geo's got like kids kid friendly stuff. I think Curious Experience has kid friendly stuff. You know, stuff that is has some structured learning in it that you can just sort of pop off with the video and then you know, but it would still fit in with your curriculum stuff. Yeah. You want to see what our education is like? Uh oh. <laughs> I, I I hope I can find this video. Yeah. Oh uh, well. While, while you do that, I'll go ahead and we'll yeah. go on to our last news story. We are running a little long, um, so I'm going to cut a couple of the ones we have on the, on the file. Uh, go down to our okay, final sorry. one. Um, uh. nah, and, and, it, and it's okay. Sometimes shows run long. <laughs> uh, this one is out of Canada. Uh, after a neighborly feud over a retaining wall escalated into a Christmas time act of jackhammer vandalism, a provincial court <laughs> has ordered Campbell Rivers' Reno Pellegrin to pay $16,801 in restitution. That is a specific amount! That's a very specific amount. <laughs> I found a thing, by the way. It's uh, This is a clip from a, a uh, an educational, a, quote, educational short they played in the 70s. Oh, rhythmic yeah. ball skills. Rhythmic ball skills. This, oh, this was what they wanted kids to do uh, instead of learning. Oh, no. I, there's another one called Perk, Pop, and Sprinkle from the, the 60s where they just wanted kids to do small exercises in uh, mimicking household appliances. The fuck? The fuck? What? <laughs> I, I, I want to be the vacuum. There you go. <laughs> well, no, it was specifically a toaster, a coffee percolator... And a uh, sprinkler. Oh, and consumerism. Yay. It's uh, that Millhouse gift there. Well, Millhouse, yeah. the uh, sprinkler. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, like uh, so, so back to the to the feud here. Uh, at first, neighbors Reno Pellegrin and John Wielden got along fine. They shared landscaping materials and cut each other's weeds. In 2008, John Wielden built a 10-meter-long retaining wall that, in parts, was on Pellegrin's side of the property line up by up to 19 centimeters. The error was That's inadvertent. That's significant. Yeah, the error was inadvertent, not intentional. Court documents would note, but it would not. But it would light the fuse of what was to become an ever-escalating series of provocations, complaints, and counter-complaints, beginning with Pellegrin's decision in 2014 to dump 10 kilograms of dog droppings into the yard, into the yard of Whittle. Wielden and his wife. Stop. He, well, this person is already lost. As yeah. soon as you bring biological weapons in, you've lost. Yeah. yeah. You've lost from the start. <laughs> Any kind of poop is a biological weapon. Yes. Uh, he testified that he put the feces there as a message to the Wieldens to stay off his property, read the subsequent BC uh, British Columbia court decision. In the years since, the neighbors regularly called police and bylaw against each other. The potted plant was thrown from yard to yard until it ended up on the Wieldens' roof. At one point, Wielden and <laughs> Pellegrin engaged in a brief physical standoff, Wielden armed with a rock and Pellegrin with a weed eater. It ended with Wielden being arrested for assault, although charges will ultimately stayed. BC Provincial Court Judge Catherine Crockett would ultimately determine that Wielden was justified in picking up the rock and making as if to throw it, because Pellegrin was approaching him with the weed eater in hand after insulting Wielden as an unemployed loser. In court, Pellegrin was also accused of regularly dumping snow and yard waste over the property line, 
He was accused of spray painting the word remove onto the disputed retaining wall and powered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, just the just word remove! <laughs> <laughs> just, don't worry. Uh, and, a ca- and cowered onto a wheelbarrow facing the Wielden's home. On occasions coward! He- coward! Uh, on occasions when he came eye to eye with one of the Wieldens, meanwhile, Pellegrin was accused of performing a litany of obscene gestures, including mimicking oral sex, grabbing his crotch while saying, <laughs> suck it, and expelling gas from both ends of his body. <laughs> what is this, Billy? Is this fucking Billy Gunn? What the fuck? Stereo! Like, Jesus Can Christ! Get shit on cue? Somebody get this man a job. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Don Glover. Again, Don Glover. You could shit on command? Just damn. <laughs> Uh, a, gu- a guy could come up here with a gun and be like, shit yourself! And I'd just be like, you're gonna just have to fucking kill me. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah? Oh, God. Pelican, Pelican you know what you could do, man? You, you, you could get, you know, there, there are... Porn is what I'm gonna get at. Um, <laughs> you, could, you could do that. There, there, are, are, there are fetishes for him. So anyway, in court, the Pelican family also alleged acts of aggression by the Wieldens they alleged that the Wieldens put garbage in their driveway and a dead snake on their trampoline, bleh, but did not specify dates nor testify that they saw those deposits being made. I mean, trampoline snakes. snake sounds like a fever dream. It does. Uh, the conflict would peak on Christmas. It sounds Day. like an enemy in Earthbound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure does. The conflict would peak on Christmas 2015 when Pellegrin, taking a jackhammer to the retaining wall, while crowing, <laughs> ho, 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 Merry Christmas in a Santa Claus voice. Okay, this is fucking Chevy Chase. This is Clark goddamn Griswold. <laughs> Just jeebus, dude. Hallelujah! Holy shit! Neighbors. Yeah. In a video taken of, taken of the incident, Pellegrin says, Hope you and yours have a Merry Christmas. This is what happens when you don't get along with your neighbors. Call the cops about every little thing. Call bylaws and animal control about every little thing. Here's what happens. Jerry Wielden asked him to stop before calling the police. After the arrival of an RCMP officer, however, Pellegrin began jackhammering again, which aggravated the officer's concussion and caused her to retreat. Okay. You gave a Mountie a concussion! <laughs> oh How my god. Fuck? Wow, oh, I don't think he gave her the concussion. I think she had one to begin with and just went back on duty. Oh, which, well, that's shitty. That, that is. That's that's really bad police work. Shocking yeah. that a, a policeman would do really bad police work. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, Jacques Rougeau was a better law enforcer than the than the actual cops. Uh-huh. For those who don't know, Jacques <laughs> Rougeau played the Mountie, Cousteau. the wrestler in the 80s. In the, no, oh, I- no, no, Jacques Rougeau was the Mountie, the wrestler in the 80s. I apologize. Um. Yeah. So uh, Crockett would denounce the jackhammering as vindictive, pointless, dangerous, and an unlawful act. She also noted that Pellegrin had admitted the wall was even to his benefit as it shored up his yard. It was to benefit you! And you're still whining that it's on your property! It's helping you! It's on my property! Fuck your property at that point! It's helping you! You ungrateful (laughs) ass! Wow! Wow! Drugs, man. Christ in a sedan! <laughs> God damn! The court case was initiated in spring 2017 with a claim by, made by Pellegrin of nuisance and trespass, followed by a counterclaim by the Wieldens. In, in, We're well past nuisance! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, in the July 9, 29th, 2020 ruling by Crockett, Wielden and his wife Sherry were ultimately awarded 6300 for the wall damage and 8000 for the loss of employment and value of the property. They were also awarded eight hundred dollars in court costs and twenty five hundred for other damages. Where does the whole total is what the sixteen eight oh one? Where's that one dollar come from? That's what I want to know, but I don't think we're going to get the answer to that. In court, Wielden had proposed a resolution in which Pellegrin would agree to forgive the retaining wall, and Wielden would forgive another wall that that just juts into his property from Pellegrin's. But Crockett determined that restitution must be paid in order to deter Pellegrin and the general public from acts of unneighborly malice in the future. So, wait a minute. Oh, no, wait, okay. That, that's the that, that's the court thing. Never mind. I thought it was Pellegrin about to be, like, the extortion. No. Okay. Wielden later told CBC that the sum awarded is well below what the saga has cost him in terms of both money and enjoyment. Of his the saga. Oh, it definitely is a saga. Oh, boy. Crockett did Some award people gotta Pe- create their own shit. Yeah. Crockett did award Pellegrin $2 for the nominal damage of two trespasses made against him, 
One by Wielden's wall, and the other by Wielden himself. However, the dollar that's, for That's Wielden a fuck you go away, money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> However, the dollar for Wheeler walking onto Pellegrin's cop property was cancelled out by Pellegrin owing Wheeler one dollar in nominal damage for walking onto Wheeler's property. Okay, so that's where the extra dollar came from. Wow! <laughs> just, holy shit! <laughs> it was just like a 12-year feud. Holy That's fuck. bananas. Holy f <clears throat> I've got family members who don't hold grudges that long. And we're, we're, my extended family's big and fucked up. We don't hold grudges even that long. Mostly. But, holy shit. All because how of How boring. A yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, how boring does your life have to be to like get to that point? I know. Where you could do that for that long. And it's like, <laughs> 19 centimeters, that's what? Translated over seven for and a half inches. Seven and a half inches. Seven and a half inches. Seven and a half. Thank seven you. and a half inches. Yeah. Yeah. That that's <clears throat> that's that, that that is like I've read dicks bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna I was gonna make a dick reference, but you beat me to it. <laughs> just, just wow. I mean, it's not insignificant because seven like that's more than a couple of inches that is quite a chunk over the line yeah. I have <laughs> <laughs> no 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 I I have some, I I so earlier on I linked a, p a possible discussion topic about E3 put out a bullshit list of hey these 25 games are perfect for women yeah yeah I thought that was totally <laughs> and L Lucy James just said quote glad to hear that Overwatch is on the list of approved games for women was afraid I'd have to hand him a vagin gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hmm. Anyway, so it doesn't say it, it doesn't say how tall it was, it's how long it is. Yeah. Um, ten meters is quite long. It is a fair way over the line. So I'm just like, surely for something like that, again, I don't know how tall it is, but it would have had to get some kind of planning permission and some kind of survey done. So. What happened to the survey? Did someone fuck up there? I don't, I don't even a... know. It's just wow. And the thing is, you can a couple of inches you can maybe expect, but not more than five. You think someone should double check the measurements? Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's to the benefit of everybody, even if it's a little bit over on the property line. Like I said earlier, it, fuck your property line at that point. It's a net good. I think you can. I think you can pull that stick out of your ass, man. And apparently, so the judge agreed. So the dumb agreed. question. Uh huh. The, the dumb question. What exactly is a retaining wall? What would you have it for? Um, I would imagine it would have to do with like you know preventing flooding. That that's my that's mm. my first thought. Mm. Um, Landscaping, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, whatever it Fair is, enough. it's a it's a general good for for everybody involved. But, yeah. but apparently, you know, my property I, I, I looked, is more important than, than the benefits. I looked it up. Uh huh. Go ahead. Re retaining walls are relatively rigid walls used for supporting soil laterally, so that it can be retained at different levels on the two sides. So basically, it's a second. It's a second floor for a garden. Oh, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense. Retaining okay. walls are structures designed to retain soil to a slope that it would not naturally keep to. Okay. So yeah. yeah, they're like little, little, little brick walls you see on the sidewalks that, that yeah. lead up to the yeah. little patio areas or whatever. So yeah. it wouldn't be much more than the foot tall if that. No, it really wouldn't. This was <laughs> ultra pettiness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this uh. this is the sort of thing that if you were to make it as a film or a, more likely a TV series. After the first couple of seasons, you think it'd be going on too long? Yeah. This is a Homer and Flanders <laughs> episode. Wasn't that... You're, you're from the UK. Wasn't that just a suburban shootout or whatever that show was about the, the like, ladies who lived in the suburbs, but they were, like, in gangs and they were, like, a constant rivalry with each other? I, I don't watch a lot of regular TV anymore, so I have Oh, never me heard either, of that but show. that's one of the few series that I've seen from there. But, yeah, it's, like, two or three season-long show from the UK about, like, housewives and they're, like, in mafias and they're, like, a constant war with each other. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I 
don't watch a lot of reality TV, but I may have to check that one out. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's not reality TV. It's absolute over-the-top fiction. It's fantastic. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll still look it up. I've never, I hadn't even heard of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, so with all that said, um, well, there are two other things I do want to like very, very quickly address. Um, one, we do have the VP pick for Joe Biden and the Democratic side here in America, and that's Kamala Harris. And it is pronounced Kamala, Woo! not Kamala. Uh, that is something yeah. we have learned very quickly. Um, uh, which, to, for that pick, eh, whatever. To me, Biden and Harris, Biden, whoever, would be a hold my nose vote. Because. Yeah. Let's get I'm, this fucking over with. Yeah, because. Yeah. And, I, and I do see people, and some of my friends included. Are, are like, you know, no, you're not going to just get my vote because this, that, or the other. you got to earn my vote. And, and on principle, it's fine. But right now... It, it's Literally just, any other year. Yeah. and For the and, sake of the rest of the world, please, just, please, just... Look, vote blue. we need oh, revolution. No, go, 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 Either way, we... Yeah. yeah. Either way, we need revolution, but... Yeah. Revolution could happen a lot easier when we're not under the thumb of fascists. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Tastes like tear gas. Yeah... But um, I've seen I've also seen the situation akin to like getting like a cut on your arm or, or, or something like that, and w- if it's not covered up, it's gonna you're gonna keep bleeding, you're gonna get infected, you know, and all that. But if you at least put a bandage on it, it'll stop the bleeding and thus stop potentially stop the uh, infection too, and then you can go on and fix everything else that needs to be fixed. So you know it, it is it is a step. And we need to take yeah. that step. And I am not a fan of Joe Biden. Not really keen on Kamala either. But you know, and and I understand historic, the 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 historic uh, means meaning behind Kamala being a vice presidential pick. She is the first non-white woman to be yeah. picked for you know a vice presidential candidate. But at least as far yeah. as I know, so I yeah, do understand no, everything his. Everything I've heard says that. Yeah. I, I do understand the historical context of it all, but that doesn't mean I'm a fan of her. <laughs> yeah, we have... Yeah, We don't have a Democratic and Republican Party. We have a Republican Party and a Fascist Party. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically what it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so yeah, and speaking of fascists, um, one of the Trumps died. Uh, Trump's yeah, died. I have a thing about that. Yeah, and... and Turns out that he was also what, what was it? One of the higher ups at, at some. Game he was company. a member of the board of directors of Bethesda. Yeah, <laughs> you know those people that get wasn't that like Skyrim and shit? Yeah, Elder, yeah. S- Skyrim, Fallout, all that. Yeah. So, how, what the fuck happened there? I don't and even know. Why does that explain everything? Uh. I just saw the headline that says the good brother dies. I'm like shit. <laughs> Wow. No, I'm just thinking of fucking Walk Hard. The wrong kid died. Yeah. Yeah, death, you got the wrong one. Well, I keep getting the shit beat out of me by Belmonts every few years. I can't get it right all the time. I don't know why death has a has a southern accent like that, but oh well. Please, everyone knows death is Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why did they make him white for the one scene where he had skin? Yeah. White Grim haunts us all. Indeed. There's your title for this week. <laughs> oh, there are several. There that are is, several. That's a bad title. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so Death, you got the wrong Trump. Um, for me, hold, holding my nose and voting for Biden, because, yeah. Uh, but, hey, you know, you gotta you gotta put the band-aid on before you take on the rest of the... take on everything else. Yeah. You know? I, I'm, I'm a bit more positive. I mean, look, from I'm what so I've depressed. seen, Kamala, she does seem pretty vibrant, pretty awesome. Like, she won't take any shit, so that's kind of it, cool. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is more... She's really, really, really bad with uh, prisons and shit. Uh, yeah, that, that is some of the stuff I have heard. She's an ultra policia. Yep, and, yeah. and, and like, locking up trans men in... Uh, in the wrong gendered prison mm-hmm. many times. Okay, that's not cool. Yeah. And li- the, the, the big thing along with that is uh, mandato- like high mandatory minimums, which basically means like the minimum amount of time you can serve for a small offense in jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So people are spending like 
10, 20 years in jail for weed, and then she's on a podcast saying she smokes weed and laughing about the mandatory minimum situation. Yeah, okay. I'll have to double check on that one, because I think I've heard it, but I've also heard people say that it's not true, so I, I you know. It was, on, it was on an interview, so it should be easy to find. Okay, but... Um, but Did regardless... You guys, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. I was just on Twitter here. Did you guys hear about the Otter Pops fiasco earlier? I uh, oh God, no, I didn't. <laughs> so, so the Portland protest. There's this guy who's out there like giving free food and uh, water and stuff to the protesters. Yeah. And he reached out to Otter Pops, and he's like, "Hey, will you send us some Otter Pops?" And they said yes, but then today they're like, "Sorry, our social media people posted this, and we're not politically aligned with whatever." And then they d- retracted their fucking offer for free Otter Pops. And so and everybody in Portland's like, "Man, fuck you, Otter Pops." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Otter pops. I thought you said auto pops. I'm like, wait, what? No, otter pops. <laughs> and then I yeah. posted more like otter cocks. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. I remember because <laughs> I, I even posted something because like uh yeah. So uh, y'all are cowards, huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 Everybody's reaching out to different ice creams, and they're like, yeah, give us your ice cream. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's 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 time. It, it's getting times where, or you know, yeah. If, if if you know, I don't care if you're a corporation, take a stand, you fucking cowards. Sorry to interrupt your very important uh, political discussion, but ice cream. Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> uh, but but yeah. So on that note, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Uh, if you guys listened all the way through, and I hope you did, it was a hell of a ride. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yes. So, uh, so Mel, if people wanted to find you on the social medias, where could they find you? Uh, well, my Twitters are all dead right now until I uh, set up a new one. So just visit my website, Mel Paradise, if you want to get a hold of me directly, either through the Facebook page or through my Etsy page. Etsy is probably the best way to get a hold of me. Yeah. And uh, oh, and the shop name is Mel Paradise. You just get M E L P A R A D I S E. Mm-hmm. Just put that into the search. You'll find me. Yep. Or you just click the link in the doobly doo. Because. Oh yeah. Cause, Thank you for linking me up. Yeah. Because uh, because yeah, you know, you make some really good masks, and and I and I wear at least you know I wear one whenever I go out. For, for the Whoa. record, I have three if you if you if you hear that you heard me on this, uh, I'm sorry. If you contact me, letting me know that you heard me on this podcast, and you order more than two masks, I'll send you an extra one for free. Hey, there you go. There, there you, you go. go. Super special for the podcast. Sweet. Ah, uh, nice. Ah, uh, all right. So, uh, Michelle, where can we find you? Uh, I've got Linktree link. Tree, link. Tr.ee/slash Sweet and Rosen, how about you? Link tr.ee slash Rosenthorn. Sweet and that's Thorn with an E, by the way. Yep. For, for, for those who don't who don't know, and me, I also have a link tree, uh, which is where you can find all the links to my social medias, to all of the channels and everything for all the stuff I do. My YouTube channel, YouTube channel for my uh, uh, Twitch vods. Uh, my Twitch channel as well, and also the YouTube channel for this show because I put this up on YouTube as well. Um, start. Uh, I mentioned I mentioned it uh, on the last stream I did, but this show is not going to premiere on Twitch anymore. Uh, it's still going to premiere everywhere else at the normal time. It's, I'm just not going to do it on Twitch because past few times I did it was like eh, it's not really not really engaging anything, and honestly I kind of got a little bit bored. So. So Wednesdays are just going to go back to just gaming stuff and what have you. You know, the show, again, the show will go up when it is supposed to go up. It's just not going to go live on Twitch. And if you're in the Thespian Talk server and you see it go up before 7 p.m. Central on Wednesday, that's because I set it up to premiere on YouTube. <laughs> I think I caught somebody by surprise last time I did it. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, no. Yeah, it's just, like, it's just, yeah, uh, the, the, the stagehand bot got a little, got a little jumpy. <laughs> Uh, so I'll have to yeah. poke at him and tweak him on that one. Um, and I also, and I'm, and I'm going to mention this just the once, because it's going to be in the link tree as well. I actually do have an OnlyFans, surprisingly. Um, and that's, that's going to be down there at the very, very, very bottom. Um, 
but uh, you know, you're curious. There, there is something there for like five bucks. But uh, but if you go there, you can follow it for free. You, and I'm gonna make sure you don't see anything you don't want to right out right out the gate. So, you know, if you really want to see that, give me money. <laughs> uh, uh, that's all I gotta say. Um, there there are a few people who get it without getting money, but I'm usually dating them. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, um, this show in particular also has its own Discord, which should be should be visible in the doobly doo because uh, at least on the side I would put it below the cut. It should be above the cut now. And if you try the link and it doesn't work, poke at me and I'll make sure to give it to a fresh one and then refresh it on the thing. Um, but yeah, that should be about it. Thank you guys so much for listening. I know this is a definitely a longer show than usual. Um, I say longer than usual. They've been sorry. Than I usual. run my mouth for odd intervals of times. Oh no, it's it's <laughs> fine. We're all we're all a bunch of motor mouths at times. <laughs> I think we have had, I think we have had longer because you say once you had trouble uploading a, a two hour plus show. Yeah. And according to my thing, it's one fifty. So. Yeah. So. Oof. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we're so yeah, we're gonna get out of here, and we'll catch you all next time. And until then, this is going with the ranting thespian with Michelle Rosenthorn and Mel Paradise. <laughs> Signing off. Bye. 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 Bye.